Hello to all my nail boys and girls out there. Nail Mama's back and got some nail tea for you. So I had one of my former students give me a call today. Well, really she texted me and that was yesterday. But I thought this was a really awesome question that she asked. And I was thinking to myself that there are probably a lot of you um, nail techs out there that are kind of new to the nail game that may not know what to do in this instance and may not know because of experience how to get around this so let's talk about this she said that she has a client and the client comes in every two weeks like faithfully this is a great client this is a good client and the client is lifting like no matter what she does client lifts her nails lift doesn't matter what length they are uh, she started out a little longer maybe a medium length and then um, she dropped my student, dropped her down to like shorter length and still lifting. On top of that, she's using a product that is designed for um, problems with lifting. No lift nails. If you haven't heard about that, go on Google, type in no lift, L-I-F-T nails. That stuff, that's that old fashioned primer. It's an acid primer. It's not the, this new generation of primers like Young Nails Protein Bond or Mia Secret X Bond. This is that acidic acid stuff that you put that stuff on and you'll be able to do a set of nails on a zebra and they are not gonna come off. So I explained to her that it wasn't her prep because if she's using that, probably not that. She sent me a picture of the client's nails and a picture of the client's natural fingernails. And based upon the natural fingernails, I immediately noticed that the nail is sort of, it's not tiny. It's about average width this way. It's average width this way. But the nail bed is sort of short and it's sort of flat. I told her to send me a picture of the enhancements that she did. Now, I'll, what I explained to her is what I'll tell you. If you apply acrylic in a certain way, all the time, every time, that's fine. Especially with today's enhancements, the cuticle area is really, the bead up here is kind of high and juicy. That technique, there's no problem with doing that, nothing wrong with doing that, but that particular style will not perform well for everybody. There are some people where even though the acrylic is not what you can really call too thick, it is too thick for a person with the, these type of fingernails. This client has flat fingernails and they also, the nail bed is sort of short. So my student, I asked her what kind of tips she was putting on and those cut out well tips, those cut out well tips that are shaped like this. If you put it on a client whose nail bed is this long, the top of each point is gonna come up here. And if you blend it, even if you can blend it in and it blends okay, the nail tip is gonna be sitting at the wrong angle. Nothing you did purposefully, it's just a bad mix. So you have to cut the top off of those wells. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about, but in conjunction with cutting those off, what you want to do is you want to apply the acrylic not so much of an apex and not so much of a three-dimensional application with a nail like that you are going to have to take the acrylic and apply it a little flat a little bit at the cuticle the acrylic should be very low if you look at this nail look at the cuticle bead sorry Look how low the acrylic is. It's very low. It's not real chunky up in here and juicy. Now, we all know that that's what we love to do nails like that. We know that. And I'm not saying that that's wrong. I'm just saying if you do a million clients and they never have a problem with it, you might run into one where that's not going to work. You're going to have to switch up your application. If you have any questions or comments about this, have you had this problem? Send me a DM, DM me, and we can talk about it. My glasses keep falling off my head because I don't have no hair no more. But I'm your nail mama. I'm Rhonda McCarthy, the nail mogul, AKA Nail Mama. 
and this has been some nail tea for you. I'll see you again soon. If you have any questions or if you've had any experiences that you don't really know how to handle, what to do with, holler back at me. We'll talk about it. All right. Stay safe out there and I will see you again soon.